hey guys welcome back to my channel okay so today's video is about uh, how to measure the salinity of the salt water tank you normally get two kinds of equipments to measure the salinity of a salt water tank one is the hydrometer and one is the refractometer okay hydrometer is cheaper as compared to the refractometer but at the same time hydrometer might not give you an accurate uh, reading of the salinity of salt water so it is always uh, uh, recommended to go for a refractometer so I got my hands on a refractometer and uh, I'll take you through a very basic um, tutorial of how to use a refractometer so stay tuned and I hope you like the video and have already subscribed to my channel let's begin so this is the refractometer that I got from Amazon it's a uh, uh, MCB portable handheld refractometer I got it at quite a good rate okay so let's open the box this is how the box looks make sure you're getting the salt water refractometer okay just hold on so this is how the box looks it's a nice uh, portable box that you get along with it and now as I open the box you will see here is the refractometer I'll just keep this aside and what else comes with the box is a kind of like of a soft cloth to wipe uh, the glass that measures the salinity the dropper through which you take the drop of salt water from your tank and dip it out here okay and uh, there is also a screwdriver basically to calibrate the reading out here at the tuning point just a little bit of a quick information why a refractometer is needed. So as compared to freshwater tank, let me tell you something that the density of fresh water is 1.000 but the density of salt water is 1.025. So salt water is heavier than fresh water. So you require salt, marine salt for your marine aquarium and it's obvious otherwise your fishes are going to die. Okay and uh, you should try to maintain the salinity of your salt water between a reading of 1.020 to 1.025 so when you're using the refractometer for the first time you need to calibrate the refractometer okay you have to bring it to the marking level of zero so in order to calibrate the refractometer you require distal water you get it for quite cheap in the chemist this is the distal water that i got you need to add few drops of this distal water uh, to this area out here okay and then calibrate the reading after you're done with that when you know that your refractometer is now calibrated you wipe off this area and then you take few drops of uh, your salt water from your tank and then you put it out here make sure there are no bubbles in between and then you check the reading it should be anywhere between 1.020 to 1.025 now let me just quickly calibrate my refractometer just adding a few drops of the distal water so after the calibration the you see that uh, it should the level should be maintained at zero now i will use the salt for water for my tank and measure as to what's the salinity of my tank my refractometer is now calibrated as you can see it is at the level zero now I'll quickly take few drops of my tank there we go and I'll add this on my refractometer to check the salinity of my tank as you can see now the salinity of my tank is almost 1.020 that's pretty decent after you're done with using your refractometer just make sure that you wipe off Otherwise, it's going to leave the salt when it dries up, you know, because the salt water when dries will have sediments of salt on it. Wipe it properly, maybe even use a tissue paper and wash this dropper, rinse it with fresh water. So that's all for today. I hope you now have a basic understanding of how to use the refractometer. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and also watch the other videos on my playlist. 
enjoy and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Bye.